Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Time to go over the new European Hockey Club cards. We received 12 new ones as well as a big 91 overall card that we're going to have to go over. So we'll break those all down and see if there's any hidden gems within them. Alright guys, let's get into the new content. Make sure you hit subscribe if you do enjoy the videos as you get daily content here on my channel. All right, let's get into it. We'll start off with the 85 overall Raphael Rotter, 5'8", 179 with Thief and Wingman. Thief activated, makes him half decent on the draws at 86, but not one you're going to look to activate. And at 5'8", he's a pure winger, essentially. 81 draws, not enough. 85 speed at 5'8", you know, just doesn't do enough. His shot is not half, is half decent. So, I mean, there is a place for him if you have activated... Uh, distributor and uh, you know you have a very low overall team your base card team kind of in that realm uh, as he's got nice shooting totals but yeah this is probably a card I would avoid as he's going to be completely useless in his own zone then we've got the 85 overall Maury Edwards at 85 right defenseman with 511 with speedster uh, bumping his speed up to 87 90 obviously with distributor and makes his shot half decent as well as slap shot sitting at 90 power 88 accuracy that's actually not that bad 511 with 88 body checking this is actually a pretty usable defenseman. I'm curious to see what he's going for right now. Uh, yeah, 40. That's actually a half-decent buy. If you're a free-to-play team, you're looking for a right-handed defenseman, this is actually nice, especially if you have distributor. Following him, we've got the 86 overall, Milan Goulas, 5-10 with Howitzer. And again, obviously, anytime you have Howitzer, it almost makes the card usable. Um, and with 87 speed before distributor, getting it up to 90, then his shot total is in the 90 as well. This is a nice left-handed wing, or sorry, right-handed winger card. Uh, again, I'd probably rather have him than uh, than uh, Rotter for sure. Um, not a bad option with uh, right-handed wingers essentially early on in the game, as this one will, uh, you know, kind of bridge that gap before you get into the next tier of cards. Then we've got the 86 overall Gautier Declue, 86 goaltender, five foot eleven. Again, just anyone under six foot, not really someone you want to target, and especially when they only have one synergy that you want to look to activate and spark. Uh, this is a just hard pass all the way around. Then we've got the 86 overall Dominic Cahoon, five foot ten center with only 73 faceoffs, so he's a winger. 85 speed, yeah, just you know, even 88 with distributor, not some I'm looking for because he's only five foot ten defensively, just not good enough with only 81 body checking. Uh, in his own zone, he'll be a liability, so this would be a sell for me if you did pack him. Then we've got the 87 overall Joel Person, six one right-handed defenseman with. Workhorse activated. Great synergy, obviously, and with Distributor, gets him up to 88 speed for a defenseman, which, again, isn't awful. It's not something you want. You want it to be a little bit higher, but 90 slap shot power and 87 ac or 87 body checking, and then pretty elite defensive awareness and stick checking. This is a good card. I mean, you don't want to overthink it. I Workhorse is a good synergy, but you would need Workhorse activated to make this card worth it. Then we've got the 87 Daniel Vixen, six foot with Howitzer, and this is definitely a usable card early on. Now, here's the thing. I'd probably still rather have the base Sagan or base Stamkos, to be honest with you, but not a bad card at all. I'm curious to see what he's going for in the auction house. If it's anything more than 40k, I'm passing on it. Yeah, like right now there isn't enough up, but I'd rather just have Stamkos or Sagan if, uh, if this card isn't cheaper. And we've got the 87 overall Ryan Leish from the Pelicans. Let's go as uh, the pack or sorry the free to play Pelicans the Xbox free to play team we love our Pelicans here with Speedster gets him up to 88 speed before distributor on the right wing and it makes his wrist shot power over 90 as well um, which makes him usable all down that wing now again five foot seven you don't really want to use him ever again he's just too small useless in his own zone but you could do worse but he needs to be real cheap I'm talking like 30k before I even think about it. Moving on, we've got the 87, Emilia Suomi, 5'10", centerman, with only 81 on the draw, so he is a winger. And you know what that means, obviously, he doesn't have that winger build at all, just too slow. So this one is uh, as an insta-sell if you did pack him as well. The 88, who's Yuso Valamaki, 6'2", with wingman. Wingman's a really popular synergy here. Bumping his acceleration up to 88. Obviously, Distributor gets him to 89 speed. He's got a decent shot. He's big. He's got good body checking at 90. This is a pretty decent card, to be honest. And again, left-handers don't have a ton of that middle-tier card. You know, under 100K, I'd probably pull the trigger as there's one up for 95 if uh, we're looking for a left-handed defenseman. The 89, Kevin Fiala, 5'10". 
And he comes with 90 speed, acceleration right off the hop, and 91 shot. This is a good, well-balanced card in terms of offense. Light the Lamp and Gladiator, obviously two synergies you're not really happy with. But if you have Distributor and Swarm and, and, and Spark, or, one of the, or two of those three... This card becomes quite useful, again, especially considering the landscape of left-handed wingers. So, um, not a bad option for the 89 Kevin Fiala. Then we've got the big one of the group. We've got the 91 Austin Matthews, six foot three, with Magician and Workhorse. Now, obviously, Magician, not one you're really looking to activate anymore, but Workhorse is. If he gets his Distributor up, that's 92. I'm just not really loving this card. I mean, Austin Matthews cards are always fantastic, and the Dynamic Duo one has been so good, but that's because he has Speedster on him, and this one without a speed boost synergy outside of Workhorse, just not really all that, you know, thrilling, and his shot is in the low 90s. Um, obviously, he's a winger, not a centerman with those that face-off rating, so I'm not super excited, but this Austin Matthews card will be really good. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's content. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below, and make sure to subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content. I'll see you tomorrow.